All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. Today, we're going to look at the automatic farm, courtesy of the proximity repeater. Something that you can do right now because of the FARM limited time event found inside of the fall update. In order to put together an automatic farm, you're going to need a handful of things. You're going to need some sort of storage container with seeds from Sturdy Squash. You're going to need about four medium platform A's, a stick of dynamite, I'll show you why, at least a medium solar panel, a couple of auto arms, some other sort of storage. It doesn't really matter what storage you choose. I would highly recommend, though, using a storage that can hold at least 32. You're also going to need a button repeater, a delay repeater, and the brand new proximity repeater. The best way to get this farm started is to blow or dig a hole into the ground because when the sturdy squash get harvested, they actually shoot items into the air. So it's best to have some sort of hole so that it can catch the sturdy squashes, not only the seeds, but the sturdy squash samples, and they don't go flying everywhere. The next thing you want to do is you want to set up your auto arms and have them positioned down into the hole. You might have to smooth off a little bit of a ramp to make this easier for you. Set your storage close to where the auto arms are going to be delivering your items. Place down your power somewhere for the auto arm and connect it to the auto arms. I'm powering these with just a medium solar panel. And set up the automation. The automation is pretty simple to set up. Take your button repeater. Place it somewhere around the hole. Take your delay repeater. Place it next to the button repeater. And set the delay repeater to somewhere about 8 or 10. Doesn't really matter. Even setting it to 25 is just fine. Take the target pin from the button repeater and place it onto the delay repeater. Pick up the proximity repeater and put it somewhere on the bottom of the hole. And then take the target pin from the delay repeater, create one little branch pretty close, and then attach it to the proximity repeater. And when you're attaching these pins to either the delay repeater or the proximity repeater and even the button repeater, make sure that they have that little green light on so that you know they're going to be activated. Finally, split the segment pin from the delay repeater and attach it to the button repeater. Now you've created yourself a little bit of a loop. I'm going to activate the button repeater. The button repeater will then activate the delay repeater, which will then in turn activate also the proximity repeater and the button repeater again. Once it activates the button repeater again, it'll start this process all over again. So you have a nice little loop here. Let me just show you what it looks like. You can see that the delay repeater is going off and it's actually activating two things. It's activating the proximity repeater and also the button repeater and the button repeater is telling the delay repeater to start to count all over again. Nice little loop. Unfortunately, the only way to turn this off is to deactivate the button repeater so you can get rid of that segment and the timer will go off one final time and stop. Now, next thing that we want to do is we want to plant some seeds. And at this point in time, I just want to plant one seed. So let me activate, manually activate the button repeater. It's going to plant the seed. And if you wait some period of time, the plant will grow. When your sturdy squash is fully grown, you can activate the button repeater again, and it will explode, producing not only another seed, but then also some number of sturdy squash sample. Take that sturdy squash sample and place it as a filter on the auto arm. Continue to keep doing this until you have enough sturdy squash samples for filters in your auto arms before we start our farm. Now, word of note about the seeds. If you leave the seed on the ground without planting it, it will go away. If you put it in your backpack for some period of time, it will also go away. It'll disappear. It'll actually just disappear. The only way to keep seed samples around is to store them in some sort of storage container. So make sure that you don't leave seeds on the ground, otherwise they're going to disappear. Final thing is just hook up the power to the auto arms and turn the auto arms on. Now you're ready to start planting seeds. 
So take your seeds and just place them around the proximity repeater. You don't need many seeds. In this case, I'm only going to use four seeds because I think four seeds are good enough. And we'll leave these other four seeds on the storage for later use. Finally, all you have to do is activate the button repeater. And it will plant the seeds. And when the seeds are grown up into full sturdy squashes, it will then harvest the sturdy squashes and place the sturdy squash samples into your storage container. And finally, because there's this special sturdy squash that's purple, you get two things with that item. You get a piece of astronium and you also get a seed. Typically, the seed is sitting on top of the astronium and will not auto plant when the button repeater goes off. So I also like to have an additional auto arm in storage set up and filtered with astronium to pick up those little nasty astronium that happen to show up. What can you do with this farm? Now, if you're doing the limited time event and you actually need to make some sort of squashaline or other fuel, you can, with some minor changes to your farm, set up a couple additional auto arms that automatically feed the cauldrangias. And while they're making their fuels, you can then have another auto arm that picks up the fuel and either stores it to some sort of storage system like a silo or into a medium gas canister, which would then hold 160 of these fuels. So you can see that this little system makes it nice and easy to create those fuels for the limited time event. And then you could just ship this whole thing off in one go and get an enormous amount of points. Your farm can come in many shapes and sizes. You don't have to do small farms, you can do extremely large farms and collect an enormous amount of samples. In a very short amount of time, you can have hundreds if not thousands of samples ready to be used as either fuel for your limited time event or research for an automatic research farm. Yes, these sturdy squash samples can be researched and they produce 300 bytes in a simple one minute cycle on your research chamber. So envision a huge farm with lots of research chambers. You can generate thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions to billions of bytes. We currently right now have a group of people on our channel working towards 1 billion bytes. And last I checked, they're already over 100 million. All right, well, that's it for me. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Would love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.